When we're exposed to EMFs, our bodies are electrical at the base level anyway. When we talk about signals that go from our brain or even at the cellular level, when we're exposed to those, what is happening, uh, you know, even at the cellular level or, or a little bit bigger? Well, what's happening, first of all, is these holes in our cell membranes. And so that's causing calcium leakage. And calcium it needs to be in a very narrow range in the body to do all of the things that it does. Uh, and so that's changed. The, the calcium inside and outside the cell is no longer in balance because of these holes, because they're leaking out. In fact, they've done autopsies on autistic kids and their brains uh, show all this calcium imbalance throughout their brain. And so these electromagnetic radiations are, uh, first of all, causing those holes. Then, then they cause oxidation damage. And that oxidation damage it, it just raises havoc uh, in the, at the level of the cell. It's breaking our DNA. It breaks both single and double-stranded DNA. So the difference between these radiations and nuclear uh, ionizing, the nuclear and x-ray and all that is called ionizing, and it breaks the DNA immediately. These radiations are uh, slower in as far as breaking the DNA. They, they vibrate the DNA until it finally does break. It still breaks, it just takes longer. And it's all cumulative. You know, they put the lead apron on you in the dental chair because ionizing radiation is cumulative. Well, this is cumulative too. So the people who find me who are sick like I was, um, I became very sick from electromagnetic radiation. I'm very sensitive to it. And so by the time they find me, they are they are very, very sick, and they've usually been around radiation a long time, uh, usually toxic, have some type of, of heavy metal poisoning or pesticides or, or you know, just eating today, <laughs> all the pesticides in our food. Um, so they are the ones, the ones with the toxic load and being around the radiation a long time, so the cumulative level is totally raised, are the ones who are as sick as I was. What happened for me was that being in California, by the time the smart meter installations got into our area, into our city, a judge had ruled it can't be mandatory. And so we opted out. It, call it a permanent opt-out list. We called the electric company and said we want to be opted out. Mm -hmm. I educated our neighbors, got our neighbors on both sides to opt out. So when they started rolling out the smart meters on our street, I thought, hey, I'm fine. I, nothing around me. Uh, they started on Monday morning. Thursday afternoon, I had a rash on my ankle, itchy rash. And I knew I had a doctor's appointment the next week. I thought, well, I'll ask her what it is. And in a week, it, the rash was all the way up my leg, totally solid up my leg. And uh, she looked at it. She goes, well, it's some type of inflammation. It's not scabies. Mm -hmm. And uh, she gave me some, um, some herbs to calm the skin down didn't help a bit and in 30 days I had a rash head to toe head to toe I could not pick up my cell phone if I turned it on I'd get itchy buddy sores erupting on my ankle within seconds I couldn't be on a computer anymore itchy buddy sores up my mouse arm and I was only halfway through writing my first edition of my EMF freedom uh, radiation book um, and I had to quit work I, I couldn't mm. work then I also found out that uh, if I was around anybody's cell phone, it would feel like a sharp knife in me. It, just horrible knives. 10 people, 10 knives. 100 people, 100 knives. I even quit going out in public because it was so painful. And if I walked near my neighbor's house that had a smart meter, knife, mm -hmm. same sharp knife. And I found out about grounding. And grounding, I was going down to the beach, and there weren't smart meters along the buildings on the beach yet. I could lay on the beach and I'd feel better. It w I would recover. But then they started rolling out the smart meters on the buildings next to the beach. Mm -hmm. And I'd lay on the beach and start feeling the knife again. So I'm definitely electromagnetic sensitive. I've been on computers since they were invented. I've been a researcher, so I've been on them 12, 14 hours a day. Mm -hmm. When I have a book coming to publication, sometimes seven days a week even. So I have been on the computers a lot. Plus, I have a history of mercury poisoning. 15 years ago, I almost died from mercury from a dental, from mm -hmm. the, the fillings in my teeth. 
So I know I have this mercury. Half of the people who find me have a history of mercury poisoning too. They know they've been okay. exposed to the mercury. And so what happens is that you open up all the cells, you open up the protective barriers in that mercury, you know, come on in, mm -hmm. destroy me. I mean, literally that's what's happening with the electromagnetic radiation.